To begin, start in child's pose. Allow the sitting bones to nestle and relax down into the heels. Allow the torso to easily drape over the legs and allow the forehead to rest completely into the sticky mat. Take a moment in time observing the elongation of the back body and also feeling the broadness of the back body. As you feel that state of slowly unraveling and opening, influence that state by bringing your breath to the back ribs. Two or three cycles of breath, begin to make that breath just a little bit longer and a little bit broader. Take the awareness into those sensations as you unravel that spine. One more slow, smooth inhalation. Then as you exhale, step the hands back underneath the shoulders, press the hands down, roll all the way up to sitting. Still sitting on the shin bones, interlace your fingers and extend your arms up overhead. Few cycles of breath, just slowly beginning to wake up and elongate through the torso, through the shoulders, through the elbows. Encourage the thighs to nestle and settle down as if they're releasing into the mat. Then another moment, lift through the sides of the waist. Completely elongate through the shoulders. Extend the elbows up like the palms are gonna lift your ceiling. Then on the exhale, take your hands to your hips. Step your right hand out to the right about a foot. Bend the elbow and extend your left arm overhead, palm facing down. For a few moments, root down through the left thigh, root down through the left sitting bone, and lift and lengthen the left side ribs. As you feel the sensation of lifting and lengthening the left side ribs, breathe into those ribs. One more cycle of breath, breathing into the left ribs, reaching the left arm as if out of the left hip. On the exhale, left hand to left hip, then left hand a foot out to the left, palm down. Reach the right arm up overhead. Same pose, second side. Burrow down through the right thigh. Burrow down through the right hip. And from that anchored point, elongate up and away through the right side waist. Lift those right ribs off the right hip. Reach the right arm up out of the right ribs. One more in-breath, let the inhalation soak into the right ribs. Then as you exhale, come back to center and you'll take a simple twist. Place your left hand on your right knee and take the right fingertips behind you. Elongate up through the torso, lift and broaden the chest, and then create a moderate turn, a moderate rotation to your right. Broaden the left side of your back as you lift and turn the right side of your chest. One more cycle of breath, keeping your chin parallel to the floor, unraveling tension in the back. Then as you exhale, spin back to center. Same pose, second side, right hand to left knee, left fingertips behind you. Root down through the thighs, elongate up through the midsection without becoming tense or rigid, and then turn the left side of your chest to the left. Chin stays parallel to the floor as you turn. One more cycle of breath, lifting, broadening, and turning. As you exhale, come back to center and rock forward onto all fours. Curl the tailbone towards the heels. Lift and broaden the upper back like a cat stretching. Relax the chin. Another cycle of breath or two, starting to make the movement of the spine more fluid and more liquid. On the inhalation, roll the sitting bones up, draw the chest forward, and come into a mild, well-balanced curvature in your spine. Broaden the inside of the chest, chin lifts gently. One more inhalation. Then as you exhale, reverse course once again. Curl the tailbone up, Broaden the back body towards the ceiling. Relax the neck, let the head hang. Good, another cycle of breath. Breathe into the back ribs. Then with the next inhalation, switch course once again. Roll the sitting bones up. Move the groin creases back. Move the chest forward. 
two cycles of breath, feel the sensations of opening and awakening in the back. Then on the exhalation, come to center, come to neutral. Tuck the toes under and take downward facing dog with the knees bent. Keeping the knees bent is gonna allow you to emphasize the length through the arms, through the shoulders and through the waistline, allowing that spine to continue its elongation and unraveling. Another cycle of breath here, move the hip joint up and back, stretch the elbows, keep all the facial muscles soft. Then keeping the left knee bent, slowly straighten the right leg. Moving one leg at a time is a little bit easier to accommodate the morning tension. Another moment, feel the sensations in that right calf and in the right thigh. Then as you exhale, bend the right knee, straighten the left knee by lengthening the heel down, drawing the top of the thigh back. Another moment in time, clear, elongate, and free up the tissues of the left leg. One more in-breath, both legs straight now. And then as you exhale, simply step forward to the top of the sticky mat. Step the feet a little bit wider than usual, so take the outside of the feet as wide as the sticky mat. And then with the knees slightly bent, pour yourself into a forward bend. Relax the neck. Feel as if the rib cage simply hangs from the height of the pelvis. Press the feet down. With the next inhalation, roll all the way up to standing. And at the top of the pose, interlace the fingers. Press the palms overhead, giving the inner body a nice stretch. Step the feet hip width apart. And then starting to awaken the legs. Engage the legs as if all the muscle tissue of the legs were gently hugging the bone. And then from that stability of the legs, begin to lift the ribs a little bit more thoroughly, stretching through the elbows. One more inhalation. Then as you exhale, release your arms to the sides. Step the feet all the way together. Bend your knees as if sitting back into a chair. And then take the right elbow on top of your left elbow. So this is Garudasana arms in Utkatasana. Eagle arms in fierce pose. Two or three cycles of breath. As those arms narrow in front, there's a broadening and a stretching of the upper back at the root of the neck. One more cycle of breath on this side. Breathe into that upper back, letting it open and become more free. Then as you exhale, keep the legs as they are, but swing the second elbow on top, left elbow on top. Gently squeeze the forearms together on this side. Lift the elbows to the height of the shoulders and let that upper back become more supple and more pliable. One more cycle of breath. Breathe into the broadness you're creating between the shoulder blades. Then as you exhale, straighten the legs, release the arms, fold the palms together, thumbs on the breastbone. You'll do two half sun salutations. Inhale, sweep the arms up, feeling the sensations present. Exhale, forward bend, Uttanasana. Take your hands to your shins. Inhale, lift and lengthen, draw the heart forward. Exhale, forward fold, relaxing the neck. Inhale, sweep all the way up, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, release the arms. Fold the palms, thumbs to the heart. Once again, inhale, spiral the arms overhead. Exhale, forward bend, hinging at the hips. Hands to the shins, inhale, lift and stretch forward. Exhale, redrape the legs, soften the face. Inhale, sweep all the way up, reaching through the arms thoroughly. Exhale, release the arms, fold the palms, thumbs to the breastbone. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold over the legs and release. Hands to shins, inhale, lift and elongate. Exhale, step the right foot back to a lunge. Inhale, reach the back heel back, draw the chest and heart forward. Exhale, step back into downward facing dog. Feel your body begin to create more space and length. 
Take one more inhalation, drawing those thighs back. Then as you exhale, step the right foot forward between the hands. Come to the fingertips, inhale, reach back through the back heel, chest draws forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the waist. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up, reach through your elbows. Exhale, release the arms. One more time like that. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, little back bend. Exhale, drape over the legs, letting go. Inhale, fully lengthen and wake up the spine. Exhale, left foot back to a lunge. Inhale, firm the back thigh, draw the chest forward. Exhale, step back into dog pose. Elongate through the arms. Elongate through the sides of the waist. Draw those legs and hips up and back. One more smooth inhalation. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Inhale, reach through the back heel. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Hands to shins. Inhale, lift and lengthen the front body. Exhale, release and fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Extend through those arms, awakening. Exhale, release the arms. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold over the legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, extend through the waist. Exhale, right foot back, right knee to the sticky mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, release the hands down. Inhale, straighten the back leg. Exhale, step back to down dog. Now for locust pose. Inhale, rock forward to plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to the floor nice and slowly. Then continue to breathe. Extend the arms back. Lift the front of the shoulders. Curl the chest up in a mild back bend. Elongate through the legs. Lengthen your tailbone towards the heels. Lift and firm your upper back. One more inhalation. Exhale, hands to the floor underneath the shoulders. Press back into downward facing dog. Draw those thighs back, elongating through the waist. One more cycle of breath. Exhale, step the right foot forward between the hands. Back knee to the sticky mat. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, straighten the back leg. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, extend through the torso looking up. Exhale, fold over the thighs. Inhale, sweep all the way to standing. Add a little back bend as the palms come together. Exhale, release the arms. Once again, inhale, glide the arms up, finding that flow. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine. Exhale, left foot to a lunge, left knee to the sticky mat. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, lifting the ribs. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, straighten the back leg. Exhale, downward facing dog. Staying smooth with your breath. Inhale, rock forward to plank pose. Exhale, lower to the floor. Keep your hands where they are for cobra pose. Press the top of the feet down and then moderately lift the chest up. Draw the elbows into the sides of the ribs. Slide the scapula, your shoulder blades, down away from the ears. Create a nice broadening through your chest wall. One more smooth in breath. Exhale, slowly lower. Draw back into downward facing dog. Two cycles of breath in down dog. 
elongate the arms, elongate the waist, draw your legs back. One more smooth in-breath coats the legs. Exhale, left foot forward, right knee down. Inhale, sweep the arms up, creating space inside. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, straighten the back leg. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen your waist. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up, lift through the chest. Exhale, release the arms, palms folded, thumbs on the breastbone. And then take just a moment to pause and feel. Feel how you've moved from a relatively quiet and sedentary moment of sleep into this place of awareness, steadiness, tempo, and rhythm. To continue this, you'll take a few standing poses. Take a wide stride on your sticky mat, standing on your sticky mat the long way. Then, for Virabhadrasana 2, turn your right foot towards the front of the sticky mat. Turn the back foot a little bit towards the front of your sticky mat and then bend the front knee so the knee's directly above the shin bone, the shin bone's vertical. Lift the chest, sweep the arms out to the side. And as you take a few moments in time, elongate down and back through the back leg, rooting the inner heel. Drop the front thigh into a challenging but sustainable degree of intensity. Create a little bit more length through the side of the waist. And then one more cycle of breath as the chest wall rises. Extend through the back of your arms, the pinky side of the arms. Then for triangle pose, straighten the front leg. Reach the right arm and right waist out. Right hand down, left arm up. Triangle pose in the morning is an incredible way to continue unraveling the tension in the body. Reach through the legs as if those legs are hurtling lengthen through the bottom waistline few cycles of breath broaden the arms broaden the chest burrow the back heel into the sticky mat bend the front knee and extend the top arm over the ear palm facing down in side angle pose elongate through the back leg elongate through the bottom waist stretch the top arm one more slow, deep cycle of breath. Then with your inhalation, reach all the way up to standing. Place your hands on your hips and turn your feet parallel. For your second side, turn your left foot out towards the back of your mat. Turn the right foot in. Then to take warrior two, bend the front knee. Take that front knee directly over the heel so that the shin bone is vertical. If you want a little bit more intensity, you can step the back foot further away. If you want more moderate intensity, step the back foot closer to the front foot. Lift your chest, reach through the arms, warrior two. Few cycles of breath, connect to the elongation of the back leg, lengthen the tailbone down, lift the sides of the ribs, broaden the chest. One more smooth inhalation, then exhale, straighten your front leg, reach your left arm and the left ribs forward, then left hand down to the floor, or to the brick, or to a shin. For just a few cycles of breath, observe the internal spaciousness that this pose provides. Elongate the back leg, reach up to the ceiling through the top arm. Then last standing pose, bend your front knee, Reach the right arm over the ear, palm facing down. Feel the extension of the top arm, the elongation of the back leg, and that gentle rotation, that gentle spiraling of the spine. Good, take the right hand to the right hip, root the back leg, inhale, come all the way up. Turn the feet parallel, and then to begin to find closure to the sequence, you'll take a forward bend. Inhale, extend the arms wide. Exhale, hands to the hips. Reach down through the legs. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, forward bend. 
hands or fingertips to the ground. Don't worry about how flexible you are. Just find your edge for your body. Let go of mental tension that arises and simply allow yourself to be with the sensations that are present. Another moment or two, allow the waistline to feel long, the facial muscles to feel relaxed, and the mind to feel both quiet, but also renewed and ready for the day. Then to segue, take your hands to your hips, tuck your chin, inhale, roll all the way to standing, Step the feet together in standing mountain pose. Fold the palms, thumbs on the breastbone. Feel the alertness of the body and mind, and also feel the internal calm and quiet. If you'd like to continue your practice, feel free to pick up any sequence from here. For those of you that'll be moving on, take a few moments in Shavasana, allowing the body and mind to completely rest as you segue into your day. To begin your afternoon practice, start at the top of your sticky mat. Interlace the fingers and extend the arms up overhead. Few moments in time here, taking the awareness into the body, taking a break from whatever you've been doing during the day, and starting to revive and reawaken. Another moment in time, create a nice full vertical length from the heels all the way through the palms. One more cycle of breath, relifting, re-elongating. And then as you exhale, release the arms, fold the palms, thumbs on the breastbone, take a cycle of breath, preparing for Sun Salutation A. With an inhalation, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward bend. Knees can be a little bit bent if you feel stiff. Inhale, lift and lengthen through your waist. Exhale, step back to the top of a push-up, shoulders directly over wrists. Exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest, firm the legs, upward facing dog. Exhale, draw back, downward facing dog. For anyone that's unfamiliar with chaturanga and up dog, you're welcome to do cobra pose like you did in the morning sequence. Two or three more cycles of breath. Begin to resynchronize the movement of breath with the movement of your body. One more smooth inhalation. Then as you exhale, step or lightly hop forward. Inhale, elongate through the waist looking up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Lift the chest, awaken the arms. Exhale, release the arms. Once again, Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward bend, Uttanasana. Inhale, firm the thighs, bring the chest forward. Exhale, step or hop to plank pose. Bend the elbows, Chaturanga. Inhale, roll the chest open, lift and broaden the heart. Exhale, draw the legs back to dog pose. Soften the neck. Soften the jaws, soften the eyes, soften the mind, but begin to firm and lengthen through the arms, firm and lengthen through the legs. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, step or hop forward. Inhale, extend through the waist. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up to standing. Exhale, release the arms. One more in a row. Inhale, reach the arms up, lift the chest. Exhale, fold over the legs, be steady. Inhale, lift and extend through the waist. Exhale, plank pose, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, glide back to downward facing dog. Now, even though you're beginning to awaken the body and create better, more thorough circulation, see that the mind and the breath don't speed up, but they actually begin to slow down and drop in. One more in-breath, reaching through your arms and legs. Exhale, step or hop forward. 
Inhale, lengthen through the waist, draw it forward. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, sweep all the way up, reach through the elbows. Exhale, release the arms. Take the right elbow on top of the left elbow in eagle pose. Bend the knees. And then just a few breaths. Begin to breathe into and broaden that upper back. A lot of times by midday, we've accumulated a certain degree of shoulder tension that's nice to unravel. Take another inhalation here, and then with the in-breath, come back to neutral, elbows to shoulder height, then take the second side, left elbow on top. Knees stay bent, drop the thighs a little bit deeper, beginning to strengthen and awaken those legs. Lift your elbows to the height of the shoulders, breathe into the broadness of your back. One more inhalation here. Then as you exhale, straighten the legs, release the arms, fold the palms. Another cycle of sun salutations. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bow over the legs, standing forward bend. Inhale, lift the chest, draw the heart forward. Exhale, step or hop to plank, then lower slowly to chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest, firm the legs, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Practice balancing the intensity, the vigor, the strength, the awakening of the body with a general calming of the breath and a general quieting of the mind. One more cycle of inhalation. Then on the exhale, bend the knees, step or lightly hop forward. Inhale, root the feet down, lift the chest up. Exhale, fold over the legs, surrender your neck. Inhale, sweep all the way up to standing, lift through your arms. Exhale, release the arms. Once again, inhale, glide the arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold, let the legs lengthen. Inhale, slide the belly and chest forward. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, roll the chest open. Exhale, glide the legs back. Elongate the outer arms. Gently rotate the top of the arm bones away from the ears and draw the thighs towards the wall behind you. One more in-breath, bend your knees. Exhale, step or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen the waist. Exhale, release towards the legs. Inhale, sweep up to standing, lifting your chest. Exhale, release the arms. One more in a row. Inhale, sweep up, little back bend. Exhale, fold, keep the spine long. Inhale, lift and lengthen, draw forward. Exhale, plank. Slowly lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Feel the whole body. Exhale, downward facing dog. Develop mental composure even as you're beginning to thoroughly invigorate the body. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, step or hop forward. Inhale, extend through your waist. Exhale, spill over the legs, releasing. Inhale, sweep up to standing. Lift the ribs, lift the shoulders, lift the arms. Exhale, relax the arms. Pause for a moment. Feel the invigoration of the body. Keep the mind on the present sensations. Interlace your fingers behind you. Extend the arms down, then draw the arm bones back. Few cycles of breath, opening the front of your chest, opening the front of your shoulders. As you settle in, continue to lengthen and firm the legs. Keep the tailbone slightly tucked. Broaden your chest. One more inhalation, infusing space in your upper body. Then as you exhale, take your hands to your hips and take your feet wide on your sticky mat. For warrior one, Turn your right foot towards the front of your mat. Turn your back foot in at a strong angle, 25 to 45 degrees. 
and then rotate your hips towards your front foot. To continue, extend the arms up, lifting the sides of the waist, lifting the armpits, lifting the elbows. Then drop the front thigh deeply into the pose. The front shin bone should be vertical. Front thigh should be dropped at the maximum depth that you can sustain without strain. Two more cycles of breath. Lengthen the inseam of your back leg. Spin your left hip forward, then lengthen through the side body. One more inhalation here. Then on the exhale, fold your hands, thumbs to the breastbone, revolved side angle pose. Take your left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Twisting is an excellent way to unravel the kinks of the day. It's also perfect preparations for mild backbends. Just a few cycles of breath. Keep the breath fluid, the breath smooth, the breath continuous. Draw your right hip in towards the midline of your body. Press the left elbow into the right knee. Create a little bit more space for the lungs to breathe. One more in-breath on this side. Exhale, release the twist. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Feet parallel, left foot out, right foot in. Rotate your hips towards the back of the sticky mat. Spiral the back leg inward and extend your arms overhead. Keeping that full length through the waist and through the arms, bend your front knee nice and deeply. Charge the back leg, spiraling the back thigh bone inward. Lift the front rim of the pelvis, dropping the tail slightly. One more cycle of breath, lifting and lengthening the torso. Then on the exhale, fold your hands. Take your right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Revolved side angle pose. Stay connected to the reach of that back leg. Squeeze the left hip in towards the midline. And then with the attention in your back, broaden it and turn it. One more inhalation here, creating broadness in your chest. Exhale, release the twist. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Feet parallel. Step or hop the feet hip width apart. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, cresting the chest. Exhale, forward bend over the thighs, hinging at your hips. Since you've been doing fairly strong poses in a fairly intense way, relax the face, relax the neck, and feel the sensations that are coursing through the body. Take the hands to the hips, tuck the chin slightly, and with an inhalation, roll all the way up to standing. Step or hop to the top of your sticky mat, and in order to segue into the back bends, we'll take another sun salutation. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, extend through your waistline. Exhale, plank pose, lower to chaturanga. Inhale, roll the chest up. Exhale, draw back into downward facing dog. Then from down dog, inhale, rock forward to plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to the floor for locust pose. Extend the legs back, top of the feet to the floor. Extend the arms back. Then, as you continue lengthening the tailbone, peel the front body and the chest up off of the ground. Firm the back of your arms, lifting the back of the arms towards the ceiling without squeezing the sides of the neck. Keep those shoulder blades elongated towards the tailbone. Make sure the neck isn't creening, that there's a nice balanced curvature to the back. Take one more in-breath. Then as you exhale, lower to the floor, cross your forearms, rest your head on them like it's resting on a pillow. Take a deep cycle of breath, breathing into the lower and mid-back, taking the breath all the way down to your hips. Then for Cobra Pose, Take your fingertips underneath the front of your shoulders, keep the legs charged, and roll the torso up, lift the chest. Draw your shoulder blades down your back, keeping the shoulders and the shoulder blades away from the ears. 
Remember, the essential component of the back bend is that you want to distribute the sensations throughout the spine, not jam parts of it. Take one more moment in the pose. Then as you exhale, slowly lower down, cross the arms, rest your forehead. Allow that breath to unravel, to lengthen, and to ease any tension in the back. One more inhalation here. And then as you exhale, bend your knees and you'll take bow pose. With both knees bent, reach back, hold the ankles, and pause here for a moment. If this pose becomes too much, please pause and simply do the last pose that you did, either cobra pose or locust pose. Now continuing with bow, lift your chest, press the shin bones back, and as that chest begins to lift, broaden, and open, use the legs, which are pressing towards the back of your sticky mat, to help facilitate the lift of the chest. Good, pay attention to the placement of the neck. Make sure the back of the neck is long, chin slightly tucked, temples relaxed. Good, observe the sensations that are present. One more smooth in breath. Then as you exhale, slowly lower, cross your arms, Rest your head on the forearms. Take the length of the breath. Take the cooling property of the breath all the way down to your lower and mid back. One more cycle of breath, infusing that breath into the tissues of your back. And then from there, press up to all fours. Draw back into downward facing dog. Now in down dog, you're not gonna undo the poses that you've just done. You're just gonna help re-elongate through the shoulders, through the arms, and through the spine. One more cycle of breath. Then as you exhale, step the right leg forward into pigeon pose. Right knee to right wrist, right thigh parallel to the right side of your sticky mat. Now rather than taking this pose as a forward bend, walk the hands back, come onto the fingertips. Press your fingertips down, press the top of your back foot down, and lengthen the front of the torso up. Lift from the pelvic floor, lift from the abdominal core, lift up and into the chest, the heart, the lungs. One more smooth in breath, distributing the sensations through the spine. Then as you exhale, transition into downward facing dog. In down dog, just re-lengthen the back. Ideally in the back bends, the curvature is so balanced that no one part of the spine gets jammed or compressed. That said, down dog's a nice way to help re-elongate everything between sides. Step the left leg forward, pigeon pose. Left leg parallel to the left side of the mat. Walk back onto your fingertips. Root the fingertips and the back foot down. Lift and lengthen through the belly, through the sideways, through the chest. One more deep inhalation, breathing into the side body. Then as you exhale, segue into downward facing dog. One cycle of breath in down dog, re-lengthening everything. Then as you exhale, take just a moment in child's pose. Rest onto your knees. Drop the sitting bones back to the heels and let the torso drape and cover the legs. Breathe into the broadness of the back. Relax the mind, relax the temples, relax the jaws. From child's pose, take your hands underneath the front of your shoulders. Press your hands down, roll all the way up to sitting. And then for one more back bend, lie on your back. Knees bent, feet on the floor, arms alongside your body. Root down through the feet, gently press your lower back into the floor, and then curl the tailbone up off the ground, peel the whole spine up off the floor into bridge pose. Interlace your fingers underneath you, root the back of your arms into the sticky mat, in order to help lift, broaden, puff the chest. As you stay a little bit longer in the pose, 
Take your awareness to the sensations of your back. Lengthen the tailbone towards the back of the knees. And know that the work in the yoga pose isn't just to do a big yoga pose, it's to do a pose with integrity. So continue to feel the posture, continue to feel the sensations, and know that the work within the pose is to make it feel more balanced and those sensations to be distributed. Take one more inhalation. Then as you exhale, slowly release. Pause for a moment here. Feel the sensation, feel the echo of the back bends. All right, the mind's a little bit more clear, the chest is a little bit more open, and the breath is much more free. To balance this pose, take your right ankle onto your left knee, gently flex that right foot, and draw your legs towards your torso. With your left hand, hold the outside of the left thigh, with your right hand, hold the inside of the right thigh. Take that right arm between rather than around the legs. Now, without getting into tug of war with your body, gently draw the legs in until the lower back, the mid back, the upper back re-lengthen and unravel. And until you get a decent amount of stretch in that right hip. Enough stretch that the mind is present with the sensations, but there's no strain. One more smooth cycle of breath, feeling this balance. Then as you exhale, transition, same pose, second side. Take your left ankle to your right knee, flex your left foot, draw your legs towards you, hold on to the right thigh. Then staying moderate, draw the legs towards you, feel the elongation of the back, feel that moderate opening of the left hip. One more cycle of breath. Then as you exhale, release the side, knees bent, bottom of the feet to the floor. Then to transition into Shavasana, straighten each leg. Take your arms 45 degrees away from the body and then rotate the arms so the palms face up. As you allow your body and mind to drop into Shavasana, let go of all effort and simply allow the body to rest and allow the mind to become settled. Take as much time in Shavasana as you need in order to feel grounded, clear, and content before moving back into the rest of your day. To begin this quieting practice, begin on your back, knees bent, feet on the ground, and then grab your belt. If you don't have a yoga belt, you can just use a normal belt from home. And then extend your right leg up towards the ceiling, lasso the arch of the right foot with that belt. Now for a few moments, keep the bottom knee bent, foot on the ground, and just find a moderate degree of intensity in your top leg. Remember, particularly in this sequence, the real practice is slowing down, unwinding, and going inside. It's not fighting or struggling with the body. Continuing to reach through that top leg, extend your bottom leg towards the front of your sticky mat, reaching through the heel bone, and gently rotating the top of that bottom thigh bone inward. Few cycles of breath, relax the forehead, relax your eyes, Relax the tongue and the mouth. One more cycle of breath. And then as you exhale, bend your top knee, release the leg, both knees bent, feet on the ground. Extend your left leg up towards the ceiling. Catch that foot, wrap the belt around your arch. And then for a few moments, again, don't worry about how flexible you are, just accommodate your needs. The real skill in this practice is accommodating and moving with your needs, finding your edges, not being forceful or expectant with the body. Extend your bottom leg. Reach through the bottom leg continuously and thoroughly. Don't let the bottom leg fall asleep. Spiral that bottom thigh slightly in. Spread the toes of both feet. Another cycle of breath, just creating a sense of length and space in your leg. One more in-breath. Then as you exhale, release that leg. Both knees bent, bottom of the feet to the sticky mat. 
and then you can just set the belt to the side of the mat. Take your right ankle onto your left knee, flex your right foot, and mildly draw your legs towards your chest. Take the left hand to the outside of the left thigh. Take the right hand to the inside of the right thigh, taking that arm through the legs, not around them. As you draw the legs towards you, creating more space, opening, and freedom in the right hip, see once again that the general tenor, the internal tone of the practice, is really about slowing down and creating a receptive state. Observe the sensation in your right hip and direct the breath into it. One more long, smooth, soothing inhalation. Then as you exhale, release. Left ankle onto right knee. Same pose, second side. Left ankle onto right knee. Draw your legs in. Right hand holds out her right thigh. Left hand holds in her left thigh. Observe how the two sides may be different from each other. Oftentimes the hips have some asymmetries. This isn't problematic, but allows you to see inside and become more clear with what's occurring. As you take another cycle of breath or two, soak the left hip with breath. And again, as you move into the difficulty and resistance, cultivate a sense of ease and a sense of receptivity. One more inhalation here. Then as you exhale, release that side. Draw both knees into your chest, inner legs together, and extend your arms straight out to the side, palms face up. On an exhalation, lower your legs to the right. Lower the legs all the way to the floor unless they don't comfortably come to the floor, in which case you should take the knees to a block or a pillow or a bolster but don't let the knees just hang there in free space. Few cycles of breath, feel a broadness through the chest, feel that mild rotation in the spine, and feel how the breath is moving inside of you. Use your exhalation to help bring the legs all the way up to center, and then release the legs to your left, your second side. Once again, let those legs come all the way down to the floor, knees stay bent, Don't force them to the floor. If the knees don't come all the way down, support them with something. And then for a few moments, just allow the spine to passively yet thoroughly rotate. One more easy, soft inhalation. Then as you exhale, keep the legs as they are. Roll the rest of your body onto your left side. Roll into your hands and come up to a sit, sitting cross leg. Sit facing the front edge of your sticky mat. Cross your right leg in front of your left leg and walk your shins forward so that they're parallel with the front edge of your mat. Take your left hand to your right knee, take your right fingertips behind you. Then lengthen up through the torso and create a mild twist. Twisting and forward bending are perfect ways to slow and settle the nervous system and prepare the mind and the body for rest. On the exhale, come back to center. Step your right hand about a foot out to the right. Bend the elbow, reach the left arm over the ear, palm facing down. Just a few cycles of breath. Undo the stickiness in those left side ribs by stretching through them and breathing into them. On your next inhalation, come all the way back up. Then with your exhale, forward fold. As with all poses all the time, but particularly this evening sequence, ensure that you're not pushing the body too far. You're creating a soft, quiet, and receptive tone, and you're allowing the internal cadence of the body and the mind to slow down. Two more cycles of breath. Observe where the sensation is in your body and direct your breath towards that sensation. Then with your next inhalation, roll all the way up to a sit. Cross the left shin in front of the right shin. Twist to your left. Right hand to left knee, left hand behind you. Lengthen up through the spine. Broaden your chest and keep the chin parallel to the ground. Now as you turn the torso and you moderately turn the head and neck, keep the eyes relaxed. Keep the eyes in the center of the socket. One more inhalation. 
Exhale, come back to center. Take your left hand a foot out to the left, bend the elbow, and extend the right arm over the right ear. Few breaths, bow those right side ribs, creating length and space. Breathe into that resistance that's present. Good, then with the next exhalation, come back to center and release into a forward bend. A little bit of time in the pose, elongate through the waist, feel the rotation of the legs, feel the movement of the breath. One more cycle of breath, breathing into any resistance that's present. And then from there, slowly come all the way up to a sit and then step into downward facing dog. In downward facing dog, bend both knees and emphasize the elongation through the arms and through the waist. And also emphasize the quieting, the softening, the releasing of the sense organs. So in particular, relax your eyes, relax the inside of the ears, relax the tongue. One more smooth inhalation. And then as you exhale, come down into child's pose. And then just for one moment in child's pose, let the forehead rest, let the back body feel long, broad, easy, and comfortable. Then nice and slowly come all the way up to a sit into a nice full hip opener. Sit cross legs, take your right knee on top of your left knee, draw both thighs in towards the midline, and step that right foot towards the left hip, the left foot towards the right hip. So ideally, the right knee is stacked directly above the left knee. Lengthen forward and spill yourself into a forward bend. Now, if the body doesn't have as much range of motion and there's resistance in the hips, that's fine, you're gonna be more vertical. Just find your needs, find your edge, and work with that space. Few cycles of breath wherever you are in the body, wherever you are in the pose. Observe any resistance and direct the breath into that resistance. Calming, slowing, and letting go, even though there's some challenge and restriction that's going to be present. With the next inhalation, slowly sit back up. And then just slide the right foot to the floor on the outside of the left knee. So it's really a minimal adjustment. Wrap the left arm around the right knee half lord of the fish's pose take the right hand behind you come to the fingertips and like all twists first start by lengthening up through the trunk as you get that updraft that space that lift through the spine settle into the rotation turning the spine turning the ribs turning the shoulders to the right draw the in breath down into the hips let the out breath be long, smooth, and complete. One more inhalation here, breathing the legs. Exhale, unravel, come back to center. And then switch legs. Sweep the left knee onto the right knee. Slide the left foot towards the outside of the right hip. The right foot towards the outside of the left hip. Again, taking the knees and stacking one on top of the other. Don't force the body into this shape, just approximate it as best as you can. Lengthen the arms forward, elongate through the torso, and release into the maximum depth of your pose now. Draw the in-breath down into the hip, creating a sense of spaciousness, a sense of ease, a sense of letting go of the restrictions. As you settle in a little bit longer, know that when we encounter resistance, the whole body tends to grip. So take another cycle of breath, scanning inside and letting go of unnecessary tension. Nice and slowly unravel, sit back up. Step your left foot to the outside of the right knee, wrap the right arm around the left knee, left fingers behind you. Elongate, grow long through the spine, Turn the spine, turn the ribs, turn the chest to your left. And notice that that left hip may tend to creep up a little bit as well as you can. Keep that left sitting bone and the left hip crease drawn down towards the floor. One more inhalation. 
Exhale, come back to center, unraveling. And then extend both of your legs forward towards the front of the sticky mat. Cross the legs once again, step back into downward facing dog. One of the benefits of downward facing dog, particularly in the evening, is that inversions tend to be very restorative and calming for the body and mind. Now this is a very moderate inversion where the heart's above the brain, hips are above the heart. Stay here for another moment, gently lengthening the arms and legs, but generally allowing there to be a sense of softness and ease. Then on the exhale, release into child's pose. Allow the back body to feel broad and domed. Good, let the weight of the head, more importantly, let the weight of the mind relax and release. Feel the internal quiet. Hands underneath the front of your shoulders. Press your hands down, roll all the way up to sitting. And then once again, extend your legs forward in front of you. Spend a moment, elongate through the legs, press the fingertips down on either side of the hips, and lengthen up through the waistline. Bend both knees, bring the bottom of the feet together, come into cobbler's pose. Place the fingertips on either side of the hips, press the fingertips down, lift and elongate through the torso. Now without coming into a forward bend, just continue to allow the internal cadence and the breath to slow as you lift and elongate the waistline. Another moment in time, let the thigh bones drop and settle towards the floor. Then keeping your left leg exactly as it is, extend the right leg forward to the front of the mat and walk the hands towards your front foot, holding on to the front foot or those of you with a little bit more restriction in the leg, use a belt to lasso that front foot. In forward bend pose, elongate through the left side of the back, gently rotate your left ribs towards your right inner thigh, and breathe into any and all resistance that's present. The temptation is to judge and push the body, but let go of that temptation, settle in, and just allow this pose to quiet and calm the nerves. One more smooth inhalation. Then as you exhale, slowly come up to a sit. Keep the legs as they are. Take your right hand to your left knee, your left fingertips behind you. Lift and elongate up through the waistline and take a gentle twist to your left. Two smooth cycles of breath. Continue to pay attention to the exhalation as it releases. One more smooth in breath. Then as you exhale, come back to center. Fold the bottom of the feet together into cobbler's pose. Extend the left leg forward and release into a front bend. Again, for those of you that need to use a belt, please don't hesitate. Elongate up through the lower back and allow the back body to have a very mild arc. Soften the temples, soften the jaws, soften the eyes, and distribute that breath down into your legs. With your next inhalation, come all the way up to a sit. Take your left hand to your right knee, take your right hand behind you. Elongate upwards, and then again, a mild twist to the right. As you twist to the right, broaden the left side of your back, lengthen the right waist, turn your chest. Staying mild, take one more in-breath. Exhale, come back to center. Fold your feet together, cobbler's pose. Keeping the hands behind you, extend the legs wide. Extend through those heels and ground the back of the legs into the sticky mat. And from there, take your right hand towards your right ankle. And then if it's comfortable for you to take the right forearm to the shin or to the floor inside the shin, take that. If not, keep that right arm straight. Extend your left arm over the ear, palm facing down. Two or three breaths in the side bend. Stretch through the left waist. Stretch through the left arm. And then spiral the belly, the ribs, and the chest towards the ceiling. 
Good, breathe into those left ribs, staying soft, staying pliable, staying receptive. Inhale, come all the way up. Same pose, second side. Left hand on the left shin, walk it towards the ankle. Then either keep the elbow straight, forearm on the shin, or forearm inside the shin. Extend that arm from the waist. And as you breathe, direct that breath into those right ribs. Relax the mind and simply bring the awareness to the sensations. Good. Another moment allowing a soft internal receptive state. Inhale, come all the way up. And then last forward bend. Walk the hands forward and continue moving forward into the forward bend until you hit your edge. Remember to get the greatest depth and benefit from the practice. You never strain the body, but rather you move towards your edge and cultivate relaxation, ease, and awareness at that point. Observe the sensations that are present. Practice breathing into those sensations. Practice relaxing any inadvertent tension in the mind. Then with the next inhalation, roll all the way up to a sit. To close the practice, cross the legs, and we'll spend a moment in seated meditation. Place the hands either palm down or palm up, depending on whatever feels more intuitively comfortable for you. And then simply observe the internal state without judging it, without needing to change it. Observe the sensations of your body. Observe the sensations of your breath. Observe the thoughts and the tone of those thoughts. But have enough internal space to be with whatever's present. Gently allow the chest to feel like it floats. Shoulder blades drop subtly down the back. The eyes and the mind fall into a still place. This is a perfect time to continue a seated meditation for a few moments or to recline into Shavasana. In both of those scenarios, simply allow your body and mind to let go and allow yourself to transition into a quiet state.